thousand years ago, a fierce warrior known as the Scorpion King led a great army on a campaign to conquer the known world. campaign which lasted seven long years. The Scorpion King and his army were defeated and driven deep into the sacred desert of Amsher. One by one, they slowly perished under the scorching sun until only the great warrior himself was left alive. Near death, the Scorpion King made a pact with the dark god Anubis that if Anubis would spare his life and let him conquer his enemies, he would give him his soul. Anubis accepted his offer and spared his life. Scorpion King command of his army. And like an evil flood, they washed away all that lay before them. When his task was done, Anubis forced the Scorpion King to serve him for all time. His army was returned to the sands from whence they came. Where they wait, silently, to be awakened once again.
was up by. He's doing down here. I told you to wait for yourself in the temple. Yeah, I saw oh, your tattoo. It's dangerous down here, Alex. I saw your tattoo. Is that what? It's on the wall by the entrance. There's a cartouche just like it. With the pyramid and the eye and the two kings and everything. Really? Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, I'll be able to take a look at that in a minute. In the meantime, I want you to wait what? for us up there. Okay? No. Pick up your stuff and I'll see you in the temple. Go on. Thank you. 
Did you acquire it? She worry now. We know where it is. We'll take care of it. No, we'll take care of it. I have a different chore for you now. Where is the bracelet? It's on its way to merry old London. And London is where we must go. I know what you're thinking. And the answer is no. We just got home. That's the beauty of it. We're already packed. Why don't you just give me one good reason? It's just an oasis. Darling. Beautiful. Exciting. Romantic. Oasis. Mm -hmm. There's the white sandy beach and the palm trees and the cool, clear blue water. And mm. we get some of those big drinks at the little umbrellas. Mm. Sounds good. Sounds good. Okay. What's the catch? Supposedly it's the resting place of Anubis's army. Yeah, you see? I knew there's a catch. There's always a catch. How did I know that? And let me guess. It was commanded by uh, the Scorpion King guy? Uh, yes, but he only awakens once every 5,000 years. Right. And if someone doesn't kill him, then he's going to wipe out the world. How did you know? I didn't. But that's always the story. The last known expedition to actually reach Amshir was sent by Ramesses IV. More than 3,000 years ago, he sent over a 1,000 men. None of them was ever seen again. How did you know? I didn't, but that's always the story. Did I mention there was a pyramid of gold? Twice. Alexander the Great sent troops in search of it. Great for him. So did Caesar. Yeah, look what happened to his career. And Napoleon. Yeah, but we're smarter than him and taller, exactly. too. Exactly. That's why we're the ones who are going to find it. Because we're taller? Mm -hmm. What? That's why I love you. Nice try.
Maybe that first weird dream of yours was exactly six weeks ago, right? I think so, yes, but what's that got to do with anything? It just happens to coincide with Egyptian New Year. Oh, that's right. What a coincidence. Uh, maybe. All I'm saying is let's be cautious. If ever happened to you, I would never forgive myself. <laughs> you and Alex are the only thing that matter to me. Well, Bembridge scholars have been begging me to run the British Museum. Stole a scepter. Oh, so brave. <laughs> and rich. Did I mention rich? What do you think I'm doing here? <laughs> oh, sorry, we must be in the wrong house. I thought you said this was your house. No, I didn't. Call me. Uh -huh. You're not Sheila's husband, are you? No. Look, if you work for Johnny, I was going to pay him back on Tuesday. I don't know any Johnny. We are looking for the bracelet of Anubis. Oh, good. Good for you. Good thing to have the old bracelet of Anubis. Where is it? Ah, you're looking here for the uh, bracelet, I see. Well, I have no idea what you're talking about. Mr. O'Connell, you try my patience. <laughs> Mr. O'Connell, no, wait, hold on a minute. You've got the wrong map. Ah, that bracelet. Yes, of course, now I remember. I lost it in a card game. For your sake. I hope not. <laughs> it can't be. Hello? Hello? Where's your wife? My wife? Oh, you mean Evie? Well, I think she went off to Baden-Baden or to Bet or something. The girl's a free spirit. Did I mention I was single now? Egyptian asps are quite poisonous. It's downstairs. There's a safe. The combination is, uh, uh, 320, 58, uh, 393 something. It's in the safe downstairs. I told you. I told you. And your point is? My point is I told you so you wouldn't kill me. When do we make that arrangement? Uh, hello? <laughs> uh, Jonathan, I thought I said no more wild parties. Oh, and you're popular. <laughs> Alex, I'm serious. If you've lost that key, you're grounded. I haven't lost it, I just can't find it. There's a difference. Well, you better start finding it then. <laughs> Don't worry, Mom, there's nothing to worry about. Good evening. Who are you? What are you doing here? I'm looking for the chest, of course. Give it to me now. Get out of my house. Whoa, well, Mom. Maybe not the best idea. Alex, get back there. Definitely not the worst idea. I think it's time to yell for Dad now. No, I will kill you and take it anyway. I think not. Ardeth. Perhaps explanations are best kept for later. Ah, dead pay. Look now. Nah. Uh, folks, knowing my brother-in-law probably deserves whatever you're about to do to him, but this is my house. I have certain rules about snakes and dismemberment. Shoot him! Shoot him!
and remove the creature from his grave. I don't mean to point fingers, but isn't it your job to make sure that doesn't happen? The woman who is with him, she knows things. Things that no living person could possibly know. She knew exactly where the creature was buried. We were hoping she would lead us to the bracelet. She obviously did. And now they have it. I wouldn't get too nervous just yet. Is that gold? When I stuck it on, I saw the pyramid of Giza. Then whoosh! Straight across the desert to Karnak. By putting this on, you have started a chain reaction that could bring about the next apocalypse. <laughs> you, right now. You, big trouble. You, get in the car. I am sorry if I alarmed your son, but you must understand. Now that the bracelet is on his wrist, we have only seven days before the Scorpion King awakens. We? What we? If he is not killed, he will raise the army of Anubis. I take it that's not a good thing. Oh, he'll wipe out the world. Ah, he'll wipe out the world, ploy. Whomever can kill the Scorpion King, can send his army back to the underworld, or use it to destroy mankind and rule the Earth. So that's why they dug up Imhotep, because he's the only guy tough enough to take out the Scorpion King. That is their plan. All right, Alex, i got a big job for you. I want you to stay here and protect the car. I can do that. Protect the car. Come on, Dad, just because I'm a kid doesn't mean I'm stupid. If you see anyone, come running out screaming. It's just me. Maybe you should sit here and watch him. Yes, now you're talking. You want the shotgun? No, I prefer the Thompson. If I were to say to you, I'm a stranger traveling from the east seeking that which is lost. Then I would reply that I'm a stranger traveling from the west. It is I whom you seek. And it is true. <laughs> You have a sacred mark. Well, that mark has slapped on me when I was an orphanage in Cairo. That mark means you're a protector of man, a warrior for God, a magi. Sorry, the wrong guy.
Son, my friends. They cannot hurt him, for he wears the bracelet of Anubis. Alex is wearing the bracelet. When he put it on, he said he saw the pyramids of Giza, he saw the temple of Karnak. Yes, and when they reach Karnak, the bracelet will show him the next step of the journey. Well, we don't get to Karnak before then, we won't have any idea where to look for him next. Seems to me like we need a magic carpet. <laughs> Imhotep last encountered the O'Connors. They sent his immortal soul to the underworld. As powerful as he will become, he is still vulnerable. Only with the army of Anubis will he be invincible. He will need your help. Ah, Shemi, keep this with you always. Hey, look at the dad! What a bright little child. Your mother must be missing you terribly. If you wish to see her again, you better behave. Lady, I behave for my parents. What makes you think I'm going to do it for you? Silence! Because your parents wouldn't sleep poisonous snakes into your bed. When you were sleeping. Lord Imhotep wishes to meet the boy. Now we shall see how brave you are. Hey, watch your soon! Hey! Nice. Very nice. Did you acquire what we asked? Well, we acquired it, right? You know what? We had to kill two of those guys at the mausoleum to acquire it. This chest is cursed. It says there is one, the undead, who will kill all those who open this chest. Yes, yes, and the creature will suck them dry and then he become whole again. We've all heard this story before. Yeah, but I heard the Yanks who found it nine years ago all died. Or yes, they were. So with that in mind, we want ten. The agreement was for five. Yeah, but we want ten. But we'll take it elsewhere. If you... Ten will be just fine. Follow me, gentlemen. It is you who are the chosen one. You who will take me to our share. What if I don't? What if I get a little... lost? <laughs> you have strength, little one. You are your father's son, but I know something you don't. This bracelet is a gift and a curse. The sands of time have already begun to pour against you. Yeah, yeah, I already heard this part from the minute I put the bracelet on. Seven days do I have before the Scorpion King wakes up. 
Did you also hear that if you do not enter the pyramid before the sun strikes it on that very morning, that the desert will suck the life out of you? That part I missed. Hey, wait a minute. That means I've only got five days left. I believe it will be lost. I do not get lost. Don't you? My dad is going to kick your ass. In here, gentlemen. You shall receive your just rewards. No tricks now, woman. We're not giving up this chest till we're satisfied. But oh, don't worry. There is much satisfaction to be had. What's going on? This place is cursed. What is it with you and curses? Yeah, I ain't happy with that. Good curse. This is cursed. That is cursed. Give it a rest, will ya? <laughs> Sun, the white boy here flags me down, so I fly in low for the pickup. The next thing you know, I get shot. I'm lying in the middle of the road with my spleen hanging out, and I see him waltzing up with some belly dancer girl. Belly dancer girl. Izzy, I think you and I should talk. As long as I don't get shot. What you whining? You're gonna get paid this time. Oh, Connell, you look around here, Annie. Huh? What do I need money for? What the hell am I gonna spend it on? I'm gonna keep this short. My little boy's out there. I'm gonna do whatever it takes to get him back. Give me that. 